this unit is to help you understand how to carry out action research in the area of your professional practice. We will look into the nature and purpose of action research, how to conduct action research, and how to present the outcomes. It will also, um, this unit will also involve thinking about evaluating your own practice when it comes to conducting action research. Again, how you can improve in that field as well as an education or training and development practitioner. So here we have, um, we are going to start by looking at the purpose and nature of action research. So we're going to focus on understanding what is really action research. What is it? What does this concept involves and um, we're going to also look into why we use action research as uh, practitioners in the field of education and training okay we are going to look at some models of action research and um, I'm going to give you an example here. I have included just one of the models we're going to be looking at and this is the circle of action and reflection and this is one of the models that um, we could be using as training and development or learning practitioners when it comes to conducting action research because action research is very much a cyclical process and it involves the opportunity to continuously improve our own practice as um, facilitators, teachers or trainers. So action research is very much about looking at how we could improve in our own practice facilitation um, and so on. So, there will be different um, frameworks and models we're going to be looking at, but this is just an example for you to see uh, what we are going to be covering in this unit, which is very much on the topic of, um, again, evaluating our own um, practice and using research in that as well. Okay, so of course, we're going to talk about some of the methods of action research so that you know how to conduct action research because as a part of this unit, you will also be asked to demonstrate that you are able to conduct action, action research. So there will be a practical element involved as well in your assessment. Some of the methods um, involved in conducting active, act, action research are recording a session or a training um, intervention. So a recording that you could use to um, learn more about what you could improve and to collect data when it comes to your own practice. You could also be observed, you could take notes, you could use interviews or surveys. There are a lot of ways you could conduct, a lot of methods you could use when it comes to conducting action research and Unit 8 will cover most of them or the ones you could start using straight away, especially if you're already working within the field of learning and development. Okay. So when it comes to, as I said, the actual practical element of action research, I have noted here a couple of steps that you could be taking and I'm going to go through them really briefly as I'm conscious of time here so that you can understand a little bit better the concept of action research even if you know this is just an overview session we're having here okay so it really involves um, identifying um, area of action research so this is this is the practical element of this unit that you'll be engaged in okay so we're going to be identifying an area for your action research you're also going to be taught how to initiate and conduct the research, how to analyze the data you have obtained, and how to report your own findings and conclusions, and also how to propose recommendations of action to be taken based on what you have learned as a result of conducting action research. So this is kind of the practical element of this module. We're not only going to be learning about the purpose, the um, definition of acting research, the methods you could carry, but you're also going to go ahead and apply all of these key pieces of learning so that you know how to uh, conduct it in practical terms. Okay, 
So having covered all of the units, mandatory and optional, I hope this session gives you some really good overview. Again, um, it is just an overview. It is rather brief compared to what you're actually going to be learning as part of these modules. But before we wrap up, I would like us to spend some time briefly um, recapping some of the mandatory, well, all of the mandatory units and then the optional units so that, you know, again, this is just a summary for you to know exactly what's part of this level and um, level five diploma. OK, so the very first mandatory unit is teaching, learning and assessment in education and training. The second unit is theories, principles and models in education and training. The third unit is developing teaching, learning and assessment in education and training. And the fourth unit is wider professional practice in education and training. These are the four mandatory units that you will be taking. OK, and then when it comes to the optional units, we've got the eight units here on the screen. Again, they constitute 45 credits. And you can mix and match, you can pick just a few of those and the ones that are most relevant to your chosen professional path or to your areas of interest as well. So we've got develop and prepare resources for learning and development. That is the first unit. Then we've got um, develop learning and development programs, equality and diversity, evaluating learning programs identify the learning needs of organizations, manage learning and development in groups, understanding and managing behaviors in a learning environment, and action research, which we most recently covered. And you could also see the credits of um, each of those units. Okay, well, um, after covering all of uh, the uh, the information we covered you're probably thinking wow that is so much and yes it is um, a very detailed detailed level it involves both theory and practice and um, it is going to be very useful depending on your chosen field of um, of work so I'm going to um, leave you now. I'm going to wrap up this session. If there are any questions, you could reach out to our faculty team. And um, I hope you found this overview session useful. And if there are any questions, get in touch with us and you will be um, you will be supported.